We acknowledge our First Nations peoples who cared for this country for tens of thousands of years before settlement, their continued rich cultural connection to country, and pay respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Before European occupation, the Murray River would spill onto the Gunbower National Park floodplains up to eight out of every ten years, creating rich, lush forests teeming with life. The richness and diversity of the floodplains were a heartland for traditional owners, sustaining large communities for tens of thousands of years. They hunted, ate and lived by the river and looked after country, leaving behind a rich cultural legacy. Great egrets, white-bellied sea eagles and herons ruled the sky in abundance during the day, with sugar gliders and bats dominating the vibrant red gums and black box trees at night. Carpet pythons roamed the forest floor, feeding on all kinds of small, insect-eating marsupials. Woodlands made way for vast wetlands, full of growling grass frogs, water birds such as the Australasian bittern, the grey-crowned babbler, small-bodied fish, water rats and platypus. Cameron's Creek is at the eastern end of the National Park and connects to a series of permanent wetlands. As water spilled down the creek, the wetlands would fill and eventually spill onto the river red gums around Bagot's Swamp. As the water receded back into the Murray, it took with it nutrients to sustain giant Murray cod and silver and golden perch. River regulation, climate change and irrigation infrastructure across the landscape have had a dramatic impact on the floodplains and wetlands within them and everything that relies on them to survive. The upper section of Cameron's Creek has been a permanent waterway for about 50 years, servicing nearby irrigators. When water is delivered, it flows slowly through the creek, keeping Black Charlie Lagoon full most of the time. The result is that too much water has been delivered at the wrong time of year, drowning trees and changing the understory and the lagoon so it is less able to support the wildlife it once did. The Gunbower National Park is one of the few remaining river red gum floodplain systems in Victoria. Across Northern Victoria and Southern New South Wales, sustainable diversion limit projects are being established to help deliver the ecological objectives of the Murray-Darling Basin Plan, without further buybacks. The Victorian Murray floodplain restoration projects, such as the one in the Gunbow National Park, aim to restore these floodplains in a way that keeps water in the system for irrigators. At Cameron's Creek, the project will replace an existing small weir and regulating structure and upgrade an existing bridge so the right amount of water at the right time can be delivered to the creek. Alternative irrigation arrangements are being negotiated with the irrigators currently using the creek. Levees may be built and or repaired to keep the water where it needs to be and away from neighbouring farmland. When combined with natural flooding, water should be in the landscape every two to three years. Engagement will continue with farmers, locals and traditional owners over the next few years, with construction finished by 2024.
This project will help the forests we all love survive and build resilience in them to cope with dry conditions in the future. And it will do it all by keeping irrigation water in the region. This project is being implemented as part of Victoria's obligations under the Murray-Darling Basin Plan in partnership with Lower Murray Water, Goulburn Murray Water, Mallee CMA, North Central CMA, Parks Victoria and the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning. The VMFRP program is funded by the Commonwealth Department of Agriculture.